Hey folks, my name is Steve Kaufman. I'm glad to be here on the Jim Dunlop site talking about my, on the internet they call this, Steve's Two Thin Yellow Picks. Folks, I've been using these picks, these Tortex picks, 73 millimeter yellers for about 35 years now. A friend of mine gave me a bag of them. He had bought like maybe a half a gross of them and said, well, I want to try something else. And I've been using those plastic, um, like a Fender Medium, Martin Medium, 73. And I kept breaking those picks in about three songs. So when I started playing with these, I just fell in love with them. I'll tell you what I like about them is that though it's a 73 millimeter, I've learned to get all the color and all the tone colors that I want out of this one pick. I play rhythm with it. I play my ballads with it. If I wanted to play a fast song like you heard with a lot of drive, I can do it with that pick. If I want to play a slow, dark waltz. I can do it. If I want to play an old-timey style called cross-picking, which is supposed to sound very stiff. I can play anything I need to with this yellow pick. I don't ever use anything different. Some people have a Monday pick, a Sunday pick, a, a rhythm pick, a gospel pick. I hope that when you reach into your bag of picks and pull them out, you just have a bag full of yellows. It's a 73 millimeter. Like I said on the internet, they call them Steve's Two Thin Yellow Picks. A lot of people put a lot of uh, faith behind these big heavy picks. And if I use a heavy pick, it starts to hurt my wrist the way I play. I try to drive a half inch to an eighth of an inch of pick into that string on each swing. That way I know I'm going to hit it. And if I use a heavy pick, I've got to take my wrist and force that pick through there. Where in this case, I, I can use a 73 millimeter medium gauge pick, which is very manly, we should say, and uh, drive right through the strings with no problem. So anyway, I can get all the, all the effects I need. The other thing I like about these picks, which are you, you can't do this with any of the other picks that are out there on the market is that when the edges get worn, which is something that's going to happen, I can uh, go to someone else's house and I can take the edge and just buff it down on the carpet and it'll turn out slick like a brand new one. I have to go to someone else's house because it'll leave a line when you do it on the carpet. So ask them to get you a cup of coffee or something like that. Take all your picks out and start buffing them out. Okay. The other thing I like about them is that they're porous, which means that uh, I can hold on to them without it slipping around in my hand. If it does start to slip, there's something that's a water soluble base about this pick. All I got to do is that, and that pick is held on there. Now, with my picks, as I showed you on the opening, you can see it's got my name right there. Now, these picks, I stay up late after these have gone through the process and write my name on all these picks, which encodes them to have all my licks in them. So, uh, uh, what I end up finding that, that I do is that when my name starts to wear off, that's a sign that the licks are running out on this pick and I end up giving it to someone else. But I don't ever break them. The edges always uh, can be shaped out or slicked up again to be like brand new ones. The other thing I look at is, is I look at those expensive picks that people buy, ranging anywhere from $35 to $50 for picks. One pick, $50. So I hold that pick up and I go $50, and I hold this one up, I go $0.50, cents. $50, $0.50. It does, you don't have to be a genius to know. This has all the tone that I need. It has all the strength that I need and the stiffness that I need. I can get all my tone colors out of this pick. It lasts me a long time. They don't break. They don't really wear. And uh, I don't need to change anything else. And, I'm, and if I lose it, I'm not out of fortune. Anyway, that's my little pitch on these uh, on the internet. Steve's two thin yellow picks. <clears throat> like I said, I've been using them for about 35 years. I started with the Dunlop uh, Tortex, and then when I started printing my own, we made sure to use the exact same material. Now, I'm back with Jim Dunlop picks, right from the factory. I know they're going to be quality controlled. I know they're going to have all my licks in them for you to get out. So enjoy that pick. It's my favorite, and it's been my favorite for a long, long time.
fun.